actress Elizabeth Rome is best known for her role as Serena Sutherland on NBC's Law and & Order, and now she is out with a new book opening up about what she says is a dirty little secret in Hollywood, and that is infertility. While in her 30s, Rome discovered that she had fertility issues, leading her to in vitro fertilization. The book is called Baby Steps, Having the Child I Always Wanted, Just Not As I Expected. Elizabeth, good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Thank you. This is not really a mommy memoir, but you say really it is a call to action, as you wrote. It's about infertility and IVF and the struggle to perpetuate life and chase after deep inner happiness. And I know that this journey of becoming a mom really changed you. So why do you think that we women need to take control of their fertility and, and why this call to action? Well, I think I originally I really wanted to write the book to become, you know, the voice of the reproductive generation, mm -hmm. you know, to draw awareness to them that if they really want to become mothers, it's going to take some thinking and some preparedness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the idea that this reproductive generation, us, you yes. know, the younger ones behind us, the ones that are, you know, struggling right now to get pregnant, that they realize, you know, they need to make it an annual commitment to go to their OBGYN and get checked. You know, yeah. their hormone levels, their ovarian reserve, it's just the same thing as getting your, you know, your sperm count and check. Right. These are simple tests that you can ask your doctor about and it's essential. If you want to be a parent right it's going to get very complicated once you're 35 and we can talk and you were in, yeah you were in that. your mid 30s you were 34 and at the time you had you know just come off at law and order where you played serena sutherland and right. success and all of that followed you but did you at some point place career over fertility is that what happened and and, and then when it came time to deciding you wanted to start a family you discovered you couldn't well i just the last thing that i expected to happen to me was mm -hmm. that at 34 i would go to pretty much a routine checkup with my OBGYN and find out that I had uh, ac accelerated ovarian aging. Like mm -hmm. basically, I was never going to get pregnant naturally. It wasn't going to happen. Right. And I thought, 34, how could this be happening to me? I mean, I had put my career first, but not consciously. Right. And so now that I've written this book, my doctor, Dr. Sahakian, who contributed to the book, you know, he's educated me. He's now told me, women who are 35, mm -hmm. One out of 200 women will get pregnant naturally their first time off. When you are 40, it becomes in the high thousands. Yeah. How can that be? I mean, you know, we're thinking about it from the point of view that we're still young. Yeah. And we're still Time building our life. careers. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, the 30s and 40s are the, are the new 20s. I mean, you're not thinking at 38. Right. Wow, this shit might have passed me by. Exactly. That's the last thing. Well, you're you say it is sort of a dirty little secret, especially in Hollywood, where they place a lot of currency and women with their baby pumps, and you see it all over the covers of magazines. And and you say those women who parade around with her perfect new baby and leaves out the major details that mm -hmm. she did not, in fact, conceive naturally, but had to do IVF. I believe that is a sin of omission. It is a lie, and it hurts women. So you're telling other women in Hollywood. It's time to let people in on the secret. I think if there's one thing that this book accomplishes, if women can make it an annual part of their lives, that they mm -hmm. go and get checked every year, and that they are aware of this subject, then this book has accomplished something that means something to me. Because I want to create a higher consciousness and an awareness for the reproductive generation that they know right. that they are running out of time. This ticking clock is totally real. So when you're being celebrated as right. this beautiful super mom with a bouncing baby child on your lap, and you're not saying that you know it wasn't that easy. Right. Maybe perhaps you did IVF or used a surrogate, you know, or you had to get an egg donor because those are your options. It is a sin of omission. You're not serving people. If you want to serve people, if you've been privileged enough to be successful at what you do, mm -hmm. if you're a public figure, you have um, the privilege to help others. Well, you're very outspoken about that, by the way. We should say you've got a gorgeous little five-year-old girl now, <laughs> Easton, who you conceived through yes, IVF, and yes. so thank all you. ends well and a great message for all. Yeah. Elizabeth Rome, thank thanks you. so much. Thank Good you to so have much. you here.